Hi there. Um, I'm going to give you a quick rundown on what I found out about all the wiring uh, on my Rasa and uh, the adventures that I went on. Um, to start, I want to sort of show you this this wire right here. This guy right here. That's the one that's going to go to my uh, my long USB wire that can run into my computer from the yard. So this goes straight into the computer. Um, that goes right into here, into the block of the USB hub. And I've got a 10, uh, 10 place unit right there. This does have an on-off switch, which I really hate. Um, but unfortunately that's what it is and uh, so i you know you can see it's probably something i'm gonna accidentally turn off and then it's gonna cause me some sort of hassle to try to figure out what's going wrong but oh well um i hate them on microphones too uh it's just not necessary okay so that gets uh, that gets the signal from the computer to the block and the block back to the computer. The power to make this a powered USB hub comes in right here. That actually connects because my wires are too long. It actually connects back to my Pegasus pocket power unit. It's one of these guys right here. These four are the 12 volt power outputs this is the input which comes from my block my uh, I call it a brick but it's actually a, a power supply which I keep right down under here and then it's one of the wires that runs through this little three wire unit here that to kind of keep it neat and make sure it turns with the telescope okay I hooked it up right here to the underside of my little safety knob on the telescope that keeps it from sliding off accidentally. So the other thing that comes from there is, I want to mention this, in case you've got an IOPTRON uh, CEM60 with the uh, iPolar camera built into it. This one right here in the center is the input for that. Um, and you, if you take this off, that's where the camera actually sits. So just be aware, these things really come out easy. Um, I'm trying to figure out some way of managing that so that they won't accidentally pop out one other thing while I'm down here one other thing I want to show you is this Starfy Starfy unit um, it actually goes into the RS-232 over here on the side where the guide uh, says the guide scope I guess would go in <clears throat> and then over on the other side it goes into the port port so that's that's how you hook that up and that will get you your Wi-Fi uh, so that you can hook directly from your computer to your mount via Wi-Fi with no wires which I thought was pretty cool then of course there's the main power which is another one of these wires that runs through my loop. Goes up through here, connects up to one of my four electrical outputs. Another one of those goes to a camera out there, uh, my camera wires, which <clears throat> I don't have the camera on it right now. But so you can see here, they would drape over the front and, you know, those would go to my main camera. There's the other 
the power and then the uh, USB so I got that sitting up there until I put the computer the uh, camera back on here's my little uh, humidity relative humidity and temperature sensor I've got that velcro on I've got this velcro on too just so it won't slip but I also have ties on it just to keep it from accidentally popping off of there and uh, let's see I don't remember what the other one goes to oh yeah there's another oops there's another power that goes down here to to my mount and I'm not really sure what that does um, it may send power to these to these guys down here or up here but you know I'm not using any of that so I may I may get rid of that wire the fan unfortunately has a different pin size it looks the same but this little inside pin here the little hole is different than than these these supply you know power supply pins on these other deals so um that's the other wire down here <clears throat> that runs through my loop and it's got its own little power supply down here underneath so if I can get an adapter for this that'll just turn this into the kind of plug that that, that takes I think it is a 12 volt so uh, I could save another wire there so I could end up not having you know too many other wires that need to kind of go down there to the to the mount actually um, let's see what else my camera my guide camera goes up to I've actually got that wrapped around here once to kind of control it and keep it from being too loopy goes up to this spot right here on my port USB port my other this this other one here goes to my camera you know the main camera that we looked at and let's see if that's it it looks like that's it yep anyway so uh i've tested it all out it works all my cameras hook up i can even get the software from this which i i still need to get uh i forgot to do that i gotta hook this up um, from here to the USB so that I can get the the uh, temperatures and things that come through this and you know I can go in and make get my settings figured out uh, it'll show up on my computer screen and I can set things like like the dew heater where I want the dew heater to come on and shut off and maybe save my battery a little bit that dew heater uh, goes up here and kind of I've got it wrapped around here because it's a really long cord and um, it's you know there's my dew heater strap right there so that's about all there is to it um, I've had a little trouble with things coming unplugged so I, I I've been starting to tape them together one other thing was this power plug right here from the main the main 10 amp supply that came undone and caused me about a half an hour of pulling my hair out until I found it. So that one will that one's got good a good coat of tape on it so that will not come unplugged. Down here for my electrical, there's two hooked into that. One of them, it's basically both of these power supplies. That's all it is. Uh, one of them is for the fan and the other one is for the 10 amp power supply for the Pegasus. And uh, that's it. That's all there is. I don't know why it took me so long to figure it out, but you know, I ain't as young as I used to be. But uh, so there it is. I'm uh, looking forward now to taking it out, getting the thing recording some data all right that's it thanks for watching